So, so the first question, or the most voted question, uh, it reads something like, give us a tweet about what we need to achieve the SDGs. So I think we can translate that to what, what would be the two phrases of how to achieve the SDGs. Do any of you want to start? <laughs> I would say that if you want to achieve different results, you must be willing um, and uh, have the courage to do things you have never done before. La Bode, I think you. I think global partnership. 2015 uh, was a call to action. Today is a call to acceleration. Make everyone aware that a desirable future is possible. Wonderful, Martin. <laughs> Yes, I'm uh, compulsive, uh, positive. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> how to say. Uh, I, I can do it. I can. It's possible to, to change. I would say that we would need everybody to get more engaged, uh, not only big corporations and so, as I said, but we also need brave political leadership. Yeah, I say understanding where we are, knowing where we want to go. I would say to be the change. What you want to see in the world is a change. I would say humility and asking the right questions. I think you have to involve all the population. Yeah, I think we need to translate awareness into action. Maybe uh, reduce the tolerance level for wrongdoings, and more affirmative action and encouragement for doing the right thing. Wonderful, thank you. Um, a specific question for you, Laura. So how have the KPIs been selected and do you think that they are replicable for other ports? So I think, I start from the bottom. Uh, so I think that the model could be really, re is replicable. But the important thing that we have to remember is that uh, we are localizing the agenda. So it's replicable, the model itself, but we must know where we are and what is the state of the art of the situation. So knowing better and in the best way where we are, so which are the particular and much more relevant uh, objective for this future, not maybe not the really far future, but even the near future could be relevant in order to shape the correct way, I mean the correct um, way to sustainability. Regarding the KPIs, as um, been a real uh, job together with those who plan the strategy for the future, the strategy for the future. So the selection is not bit only on the base of numbers and available data, but also a little bit more than this. Wonderful, thanks. Also a question for Legina, so if yeah. you could pass the microphone. Mm -hmm. um, how, rep uh, sorry, no. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I've lost that question. Could other Caribbean countries replicate your project? Yeah, um, m many of the Caribbean countries have a rum industry um, because it was similar histories, different colonizers and different sequence, but many Caribbean islands and countries in that region have a rum industry and a problem with discarding of the rum industry waste and also a sargassum seaweed problem and a tourism problem because of sargassum seaweed on beaches. So yeah. Thank you. Um, so we have two suggestions. One is that the SDG impact tool should be used for all of these solutions, yeah. which seems like a, a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> There's also another solution, both Africa, uh, sorry, another proposal. Both African solutions have to do with data. So this uh, anonymous writer says that there is perhaps an opportunity to collaborate between these two networks. Um, and perhaps just a final question to anyone that wants to address it. So what do we want to learn in the process of working towards the SDGs? Anyone wants to? Karina? Uh, I, I want to speak in Spanish uh, uh, because it's more comfortable for me. Uh, <coughs> thank you. Bueno, el aprendizaje, las lecciones aprendidas de trabajar en los objetivos de desarrollo sostenible es que nos colocan eh, como visión el poder eh, trabajar eh, cosas concretas, poder so tener soluciones concretas y también entender 
de que el desafío no solamente es global, sino principalmente podemos aportar desde lo pequeño, desde adentro, desde nuestras propias soluciones, desde nuestros propios conocimientos y también eh, entender de que hay muchas cosas que se están haciendo bien y que necesitamos también justamente esta red ¿m? para ver cómo sumamos y cómo generamos mayor impacto desde lo local hasta lo global. Please translate. <laughs> So I, I will translate word by word. Um, so um, Karina believes that the, the local is as important as uh, the big projects and that um, it is through networks like this one that we find out the power of these small projects that actually add up to, to great achievements. It was a bit of a summary. <laughs> Anyone else has? Yes, please. Well, um, the SDGs have actually brought all countries uh, to the same level. Every country is developing. Uh, you have climate issues, you have inequality issues, you have uh, issues about environmental pollution. So every country needs SDG, and it's a leveler for all of us. I would say that we need to learn to think a little bit out of the box and stop working in silos. I think that's what we need to learn, to operate outside our specific fields uh, and collaborate. Uh, it's not, it might sound, sound trivial, but that's actually quite difficult. So we need to learn that. Uh, can I say, we need to learn how the local um, the balance between local approaches and blanket approaches and where it begins and where it ends. There's a fine line. But a lot of these solutions had localness to them and still global relevance. So, yeah. I would say it's important to be brave enough and to have courage to address the root cause of the problems rather than to look at the surface, because many of what we're currently addressing is just the symptoms, and there is a deeper layers of what the problems are in our society, and that's what we try to address in our presentation. And I would maybe just add to that, that that involves a great deal of also not only looking outside, but looking inwards, and what's there and how can we improve that in order to then have the ripple effect that we wish to see outside. I would also say that SDGs are a huge opportunity to realize the systemic uh, perspective of the, of the challenges. You can be expert on one field on one topic, but you will never be an expert of the whole 17 SDGs. So partnership is really a key word. We have to work together to achieve this agenda. Well, thank you very much. Um, perhaps a, a last round of, of applause to our, our 10 networks represented here. We have a Professor Jeffrey Sachs has just joined us to deliver some closing remarks. <laughs> you, you, you are in... Uh, keep talking for a couple minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will talk a little bit more. So, um, anyone wants to talk <laughs> for a couple of minutes? <laughs> Good. <laughs> but in Spanish. Translate, please. <laughs> Hay algo que tenemos súper claro los que trabajamos en la Amazonía eh, y es que los bosques son nuestra mayor inversión o me, y la conservación, no, es nuestro mayor activo y la conservación es nuestra mejor inversión. Podemos generar recursos, podemos generar bienestar, podemos generar economía con los bosques en pie, ya no podemos cortar más. Así que vamos con esa fuerza todos, porque los bosques eh, cuentan con nosotros. So I was going to say that uh, even if you did not understand the language, I think you you must have it came the passion came across. Uh, 
And what Karina was saying is that we need the forests not just to uh, to leave, but also because of all of what they produce, all of the ecosystem services that they provide. And so she was saying, we cannot cut a single tree more. Uh, Martin, I think you wanted to add something else? I just want to thank you and the other ones who have made this event possible. Uh, all the estates and staff that has done this. I think it's been amazing, fantastic. And uh, if there's any more to come in the future, I'm looking forward to those. Thanks again. Thank you.